Hello, this is Lucian Miller from Innovative Designs and hopefully you guys have been enjoying these how-to videos we've been putting together and uh, the one that we're going to do next is one that we've gotten a lot of requests for and that's how to use our Scorpion Calc software. Uh, that's a free uh, program that's available as a download on our website at www.innovativedesigns.com. Uh, this software was designed by a French modeler by the name of Louis Fordan and he's done an awesome job of putting together this uh, little calculator that has a complete database of all the Scorpion motors as well as a full selection of propellers and it enables you to try a whole bunch of different props and different voltages on any of the Scorpion motors and uh, see how the performance is going to be before you actually go out and buy the prop or even buy the motor for that matter. It's a great tool for letting you select a motor and see what kind of performance you're going to get. So uh, let's go over to the computer and we'll go through the whole process step by step on how you download it, install it, and use it. Okay, now we're going to show the step by step process for uh, installing and running Scorpion Calc on your system. First thing you're going to want to do is uh, go to the internet and go to our website at uh, www.innovativedesigns.com and when you get there you scroll down to the bottom of the headline section here and the very last one on the list here is the Scorpion Calc uh, talks about the Scorpion Calc software here's a screenshot of what it looks like um, and if you click right here on this link it says Scorpion Calc on RC groups it'll take you over to uh, the place on RC groups where we store the latest greatest version of the software uh, as I said, this piece of software was put together by uh, Louis Fordan, and right here at the first post, we've got the newest version. Um, uh, version 3.40 is the current newest version that's come out, so we're going to click on that, and we're going to go ahead and save this to our desktop, and we'll download the program, and when we're done, we can close this out and uh, go back to our desktop, and you'll find here a folder, a zip folder, uh, for the uh, Scorpion Calc program that we've saved on our desktop. Um, we'll zoom in on that a little bit for you so you can see that a little better. And uh, next thing we're going to do is uh, open up this program and unzip these files. Now before I do that, I'm just going to create a new folder next to this, uh, and I'm going to call this Scorpion Calc. and I'm going to put this zip folder inside there. Now we're going to open up this folder and there's our Scorpion Calc. Uh, we'll click on that and we're going to want to extract all of the files and any of you guys that have done any kind of zip stuff before are familiar with this process and uh, we're going to unzip that and when we're done we'll see that we've got the Scorpion Calc files here and I'm just to make it easy I'm going to click right click on the logo and I'm going to send that icon to the desktop to create a shortcut for that newest version of the program and right there uh, we've got the uh, icon right up here for the program. If we go ahead and double click on that and it's going to ask us if we want to run the program and there we have our Scorpion Calc program window We'll zoom in on that a little bit for you so you can see what that looks like. And this is the uh, Scorpion Calc uh, window. We'll go through here and explain the different parts step by step. When you start up Scorpion Calc, there's a few options that before you even get going with it, you'll probably want to set. If you click up here on the Preferences tab, you'll get a Preferences window that will open up. And in this preferences window, you can select whether you want the things to show up in the metric system in millimeters and grams or inches and ounces, whichever one you're more familiar with. 
Uh, you can pick your whether your props are in inches or centimeters. And then you can also filter out the props. If you just want to look at APC props or just GWS or whatever, you can do that. I'm going to set it for just APC to make it uh, a little easier to go through the prop list. And at this point here, you can also set your altitude. Where, uh, where I live here, it's a 700 feet, so I'm going to set that at 700 feet of altitude. And uh, ambient temperature, 77 degrees Fahrenheit is good. In the propeller results here, I want it listed in ounces, ounce inches of torque, and miles per hour. Once I've saved all of those things, you just click up here in a corner where it says click close to accept, and boom, it's saved all that value. Now you can see up here in the upper left-hand corner, it puts 700 feet of altitude and 77 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, now, within uh, Scorpion Calc, there are several sections. The first one is the source section, right up here in the upper left-hand corner. And that's going to be where you set your voltage. Now, you can select a, a series of voltages, nickel cadmium, nickel metal hydride, lithium iron phosphate, lipo, uh, whatever. Or if you want to be able to manually enter in voltages, you can do that too. But for lipo, we're going to go with 3.7 volts per cell. And then right here, you can click up from 4 cell, 5 cell, 6 cell, back to 5 cell. You can select a number of cells just with the up down arrows. The next section up here in the upper right corner is the propeller section. And in this section you've got a database with several uh, dozen propellers um, and you can have a couple of different options here. There's a no load selection where, which will give you what the, that particular motor will do with no prop on it at all. There's a generic mode right up here where you can manually enter your propeller uh, diameter, pitch, constants, and things like that. And then there's the library mode. And the library mode has all the props preloaded into it. Now below the library, you've got your auto and your to keep number options. If you put it in auto, every time you change anything, it's automatically going to find the prop that gives you the highest efficiency point, which is probably not what you're going to want to do. I usually have this set in the to keep number. That way, whatever prop I have in here, it keeps locked in, uh, and that way it, it doesn't change on me. Now, uh, right here in the middle is the efficiency graph of the motor. It shows over the range of current on this red line what the efficiency of the motor is f for all the different possible currents running through it. And if you come all the way down here at the bottom, you've got the peak efficiency point, the current where the peak efficiency point happens, the input power that happens at the uh, peak efficiency point, and the output power that you get at the peak efficiency point. If so if you, if you were doing something where you were trying to get the longest run time, you wanted to find out where the most efficient point of the motor was, you'd see that here. Now, off to the left on the bottom section, over in this area here, is the motor selection area. And if you click on the drop-down menu, you'll see that there's a whole list of all the Scorpion motors from the 2503s all the way up through the 5545 series and everything in between. So let's just, for example... Let's, uh, let's pick a really common motor like the 402512 to start with. And, we'll, and when, after you select a motor, it displays all the parameters of the motor. It shows you the RM value of that motor, the IO uh, at the current voltage, and the KV of the motor. And then finally, off to the lower right-hand corner of the program is the performance section. This is where you're going to see your motor speed, your prop pitch, thrust, torque, uh, current, wattage, all of that kind of stuff is going to be over in this section. So let's go through the process a step by step of how you will use this program now that we know where all the different sections are. Um, first thing you're probably going to want to do is select a motor. Uh, I've already selected a Scorpion 402512 motor. Now this motor is typically run on six cells so I'm going to go up here to the battery uh, source section and I'm going to click this up to 6S. 22.2 volts. Now I can go over here to the propeller section and with the uh, up and down arrows on the propeller section I can click and walk through all of the different props. Now you'll probably notice that the props don't come in order like I'm going 10 10 and 12 8, 13 by 6 and a half, 11 10. What the, the order that the props are in is the order by how much load they put on the motor. 
So when you step through it, you're going to be jumping up and down through different diameters and different pitches. But you'll notice over here that each time we go up one prop, we move up a little bit higher on the efficiency torque uh, or the efficiency curve here. So let's take a look at a 15 by 10 prop. That's a pretty common prop for the 402512 motor running on six cells at 22.2 volts. And you can see down here in the propeller section, there's the parameters. The diameter is 15 inches, the pitch is 10 inches, it's got two blades. The KP and the K2 are the constants for that uh, propeller, the power constant and the thrust constant. And then this other uh, constant, N100W, that's how many RPM this motor will spin with that prop um, uh, or with uh, 100 watts applied. That's how much power, it, uh, with 100 watts applied to this prop, that's how fast it'll spin. Now if we look down here, we can see motor speed. I'm, I'm seeing 8,379 RPM. Uh, the pitch speed is 79.3 miles per hour. Static thrust, 171 ounces, so it's almost 11 pounds of thrust. You've also got the torque. Uh, and then uh, down here, it's got the estimated temperature of the motor, 106 degrees Fahrenheit, running at full throttle for a half a minute. You can change this parameter to one minute or two minutes or three minutes, and the Scorpion Calc will give you an estimation on how high the motor temperature will get. Down here at the bottom, you can see that the motor is going to be running at 86.2% efficiency, 60.39 uh, amps, 1,340 watts, and based on that 86% efficiency, you're actually getting 1,119 watts of power to the prop. So now if you wanted to see what the effect would be if you went to, say, a 1410 prop, well, you can click back to a 1410 prop, and you can see the current here dropped to 49.7 amps. The power is 1,100 watts. When we go back to the 1510 prop, current's back up to 60.39 amps and 1,340 watts. So with this program, you know, you can go around and check a bunch of different props and see what your current draw is going to be, your RPM, your pitch speed, things like that. Um, if you wanted to see what the effect would be going from a 1510 to a 168. You could click up until you come up to the 168. You'll notice that your static thrust goes from 171 up to almost 199 ounces. You're getting almost two more pounds of thrust, but your pitch speed also dropped down to 62.9 miles an hour, where it used to be uh, 79 miles an hour. So you lost quite a bit of speed, but you gained quite a bit of thrust in the process. And that's the beauty of Scorpion Calc. It allows you to go through and check all these parameters and see how they work and how changing props will change the different uh, features of the motor, such as thrust and speed and power, wattage, things like that.